Welcome back! Okay, today we're going to... <laughs> Welcome back! Okay, we're gonna do something that a lot, a lot of people ask for. Nearly on a daily basis I see this question come up. And it is dead easy to do. So what we're gonna do is how can we customize the cart and checkout page in WooCommerce using Elementor? So is it that simple? Yes, but you are gonna need Elementor Pro. I'm really, really sorry about that. It saves you using a third party plugin, any customized coding, and basically it just means that you're doing it all in one place. And if you haven't already got Elementor Pro, what are you waiting for? Come on, you gotta get it if you really wanna get the best use out of Elementor. Right, so I'm in an example, well, it's one of my customers' uh, shop pages. And if I hover over cart and checkout, can you see the option for edit with Elementor is there? Now, that is present because I've already done what I'm gonna show you. But if you were to go into your pages and you've, you've got you know, a website, WordPress, WooCommerce, Elementor, and you haven't done what I'm gonna show you yet, you won't see the edit with Elementor page. And the problem you're gonna have here is that if when you do click edit or anything like that, you're gonna get a message pop up that says, content cannot be done, you know, you've got to, it won't work for you basically. So here's how you do it. Dead, dead simple. What you do is you visit your website. But when you visit the site, you've got to be logged into WordPress. And you'll know you are if you because you'll have the black bar at the top. Okay, dead easy. Look at the black bar. You can't miss it. It's right there, right there. Okay. And then what you do after you've logged in is you just go through as if you're adding something to your shop. So let's just go to the shop on this website. And let's just add uh, these resistance bands. Okay, if I now go to the cart page, okay, so let's view the cart as if, you know, we're doing it as if we're in an actual website here now. When you're on the this page here, this is the point when you wanna hit edit with Elementor, okay? And when you hit edit with Elementor, it will now do edit with Elementor. Now, if it doesn't, and sometimes it won't always do this for you, you can click edit page and then click edit with Elementor. But nine times out of 10, you click edit with Elementor and it will let you in, okay? But again, just to let you know, if that does not work for you, you click edit page, as I'm doing, and you will then come here. You then click edit with Elementor and it will bring you back to here. So two ways to do it, either edit page, edit with Elementor, or just click edit with Elementor, okay? Now, once you're in, if you now, well, basically you can do anything you want. You know, I could now go right over above here. I'm going to add in a heading and I'm going to leave a message on the page. I might add another image. I might add some other products. Hey, by the way, don't forget this sort of stuff as well, or a video, whatever you want. And what you can also do is um, if you click on the, so uh, the contents will sit within a section. If you click on the section and you go to style, typography is there. It's right, it's right there. Let me get my finger right. Where's my finger? It's there. Okay, and this is where you can now change the headings. So right now, I've set this to be the standard uh, bluey aqua color for the buttons or the links. I can go in and say, actually, no, we're gonna make it all red. And, and I now have a red color there. Pretty simple. I could also change the coloring of some of the other lettering. So I might say the header coloring or the text coloring is now gonna be blue. There's a little bit of um, uh, customization you can do here. Okay, I just need to undo that and undo that as well. Or, I mean, there are limitations. You can't completely go crazy and start moving fields around, but this is customizing the look of it because there's always a danger. You might have the standard WooCommerce colors come out and you can also change the background. So I can go over here and go, right, let's add a background image of, uh, let's just go for this lady over here. Let's add this image in. And I might now decide to, you know, once you've positioned it and done all of that, and then I might go, okay, let's add in a bit of a background overlay. Let's go for white. And, you know, you, it's up to you. You could, you could add things into there. You might have a pre-built image somewhere. And again, remember, underneath all of that, you can add further options as well. So that, in its simplicity, is how you would edit your cart and checkout. And look, you know, the same thing would work if I just go back to the web pages. Yeah, we wanna leave the site. We don't wanna save it. Let's go to pages. Let's go to checkout. Again, I can see edit with Elemental because I've already done it. 
But what you would do is you would go to your store, your site even, go to, you know, the shop, whatever it is, just go through the motions, right? Add to cart, yeah, that's fine, cool. Go there, view cart, or even checkout. I could have just hit checkout, really. Go down here, uh, let's proceed to the checkout. And then again, once you're in here, click edit page, okay? Edit with Elementor, right? And then we can now mess around with it. So again, click the grid there, go to style, go to typography, decide what your colors are gonna be for your fonts and everything. And then you can now start to mess around with how, you know, what's the background gonna be like? I mean, you know, you, I can even change the, I can even put this to be an 800, you know, if you want and have, you know, or even move it, um, add in another column. Look, add another column, look. Of course, you would have to mess around with it to make it look good, but then I could have maybe a wider screen. Let's put it back to full width, like so. And I might say, okay, down here, down the side, I'm gonna have some additional images or content or adverts. You probably don't wanna do adverts on your checkout because you want them to check out. You don't want them to go, oh, I like the look of that and click and go elsewhere. But you could put other things in there. You know, it might be a video, just something, I don't know. So this is a dead, dead simple way of how you customize your cart and checkout using Elemental Pro. Did you like that? You did? Great, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.